Hey everyone. So today we are going to solve another problem from Codility, and it's called the tape uh, equilibrium problem. Okay. Uh, so, so in summary, what this problem is all about is we are given with a uh, integer array, which is a non-empty array, and uh, no, so given this example, right? These are the elements of this array, and uh, so so basically, what we have to do is at each point we have to find uh, the difference in the first part of the array and the second part of the array right so let's say let's say for this particular element if we were supposed to split this array into two parts and one part of the array becomes 3 and the other part becomes these four elements right so then what is the difference of the summations of these two parts in this case it is 7 and we are taking the we are considering the mod uh, the absolute value right we are not uh, considering that if it is negative or positive. So in this case it is 7. If we uh, consider P equals to 2, in that case it is 5. Similarly it is 1 and 7. And then we have to return the minimum difference. Right? That's why they are calling it as equilibrium. So in this case, uh, in this case it is 1. Uh, so that is what we have to return. All right. So let's see. Uh, so as always we'll start with the uh, private static method. So we'll say private static. And we have to return an integer and I'll call this as uh, um, let's see, let's call it as e equilibrium and I'll have an integer. Great. So this is fine. Now what we need. So see what, what I was thinking is uh, at uh, if we go back to the problem. So what we'll do is we'll first calculate the entire. Uh, so see one simple solution uh, to solve this is we can have like two loops and in the first loop we can go from like here to here and in the second loop we can uh, know, calculate the summations of uh, till that point and after that point, right? And do it like that. So that would give you uh, n square complexity. Uh, so so that is also a correct solution, but it's it's like performance wise, it's complexity is n square, right? Uh, so now what I'm I was thinking to do is I'll first calculate the sum of all the the entire array and keep it aside now and then I loop through the uh, the elements only once and at each point what I'll do is I'll calculate the current sum till this point and I'll keep on subtracting that particular element from the ent uh, entire sum so that I can get the sum of the uh, the remaining part, the second part. And then I can subtract both these summations and then calculate what is the minimum difference, right? So this is, so the complexity would become uh, order of n plus some constant, which is uh, kind of better than uh, n square complexity, all right? So let's say, uh, so I'll create a variable, I'll call it as sum and the total sum. So first we will, uh, sorry, first we will calculate the sum. So I'll start with i and I'll say a dot length. And then, so I'll say sum plus plus equals to a of i. This will give us the sum of the array. Now, once we have the sum, so let's uh, create another variable. So I'll call it as var current and um, I'll call it as sum till current index. OK, and because we are starting from the first element, so what I'll do is I'll initialize this value with a of zero. Right, and we already know that this is a non empty array, right? So we are sure we don't even have to check the length here. So this is OK. And then we'll call we'll have another variable. We'll call it as mac min difference. This is what we have to calculate. So the min difference in this case for a equals to zero would actually become sum total sum. Minus. So there are two parts, right? So in this case, the the left part would become uh, so first I'll do I'll just take see maths dot absolute to get the absolute value. So there would be two parts, right? So the left part would be just a of zero. And the right part would actually be sum 
minus a of zero, right? So if I go back to the problem in this particular case, uh, this is three and this is sum minus three, that is uh, 10, correct? So this is one, two, three, six, four, this, this thing is 10, right? Uh, so 10 again, 10 minus three now becomes seven. So we have to do another minus a of zero. All right, so this is the minimum difference that we are starting with. OK, and once we are done with this. Uh, so some would also be equals to now. Uh, I can remove a zero because for a zero we have already calculated the main difference, correct? Uh, OK, now we just have to loop through all of the elements. So I can say I equals to. I don't have to start with even like one. Uh, basically, I need to start with two and go till n, right? This is the value of P. I'll, I'll actually just call it as P. So P is this P is less than a dot length. P minus minus, yeah. Okay. All right. So now the current, uh, the sum till current index. What we have to do is we have to add the current element, right? So for p equals to two, it's actually p minus one, right? Okay, this is fine. And then what would be what would sum become? From sum, we have to subtract this value, the same value. So I'll just copy this like this. Okay. Now we have to check if min difference, if this is greater than math dot absolute, math dot absolute of sum minus current uh, sum till current index. If this is greater than min difference equals to this whole thing. Right. OK, and then we can just return. Min difference. All right, so let's uh, test this. So I'll call it that. OK, let's create a. Interay. Uh, in equals to this. I'll just copy three one two four three three one two four three equilibrium uh, I'll say input uh, so this is good uh, and I'll say where uh, min whatever right min to get the point so in difference okay so let's run this and see so in this case the answer let's go back the answer should be should be one right because this is the least difference that it's coming to okay yeah so it's one okay so i'll just run this again uh, and oops, i'll just put a break point uh, run this again just to see how how it is working OK, so we have the sum, so I'll put a break point here. So we have the sum, this should be 13. OK, so sum till current index is. Uh, is this. So this is the sum for the first element. Now the minimum difference is 10. 10, 10, 10, should it be 10? So I just ran the program again. So there was a mistake. Uh, there was a bug here, right? So in this case, this is the first part of the array and this is the second part. I additionally added like one. Uh, uh, I was additionally subtracting a of zero again, right? So that that was not needed. Uh, so now if we. See this for the element one, uh, the min difference is seven, right? That is third. Uh, yeah, so that's 
10 minus uh, 3 is 7 sum till this point is 3 and this summation is 10 okay so for the next element for p equals to 2 uh, the sum becomes this till this point becomes 4 why it becomes 4 is because 3 plus 1 right and this sum becomes 7 9 right this this sum would be 9 now then we uh, calculate the difference now mean difference because it is greater than the difference then it overrides the mean difference value so it becomes five similarly it would come to a point where mean difference becomes one and then we should get the value of mean difference one here okay all right so that's that's all from uh, this video uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video